Okay, volume one, The Celebrations Library, Halloween Program Source Book. Edited by Sue Sue Ellen Thompson, illustrated by Mary Ann Travos Laning. So hard book and the story of Halloween, including expert excerpts of stories and legends, strange happenings, poems, plays, activities, and recipes fo focusing on Halloween from the 18th, 8th century to the present, supplemented with bibliography and indexes. And so. And you do get like this note saying, this book belongs to the Celebrations Library. You may copy the designs and illustrations for classroom and library use free of charge and without special permissions. So got that because like usually it's a, you can't without permission. So audience, it's intended for upper elementary and middle school readers, teachers, librarians, and the general public seeking information and program materials about Halloween. So, introduction, you got like the story of Halloween. So, a bit of history, the Christianization of Halloween, Halloween and Guy Fox Day, procession of guys, right there, so you do get, um, a few images here and there. Uh, Divining the uh, Future, Robin Bur Robert Burns. Apples, uh, apples have been a part of Halloween celebrations in the British Isles for centuries. It was believed that if a girl went into her room at midnight on t October 31st, sat down in front of her mirror, cut an apple into nine slices, and held each slice on the point of her knife before eating it, she could look into the mirror and see the face of her future husband appearing over her shoulder. So kind of like superstitions kind of things. The Irish in the United States trick or treat and uh, US, uh, you going into different um, points in history, different groups, different topics. So you got like witches and the familiar. Um, so you got a uh, Halloween bibliography here and a uh, website, two websites, and then you get um, the stories and legends. So you got like the Black Hat by Edgar Allan Poe. So it's not like a illustrated version of it, you're just getting the story. So, Legend of Sleepy Hollow, so you're getting that, and you're getting a few other stories. Um, a few are just three, four pages, if you are longer, like the, um, Edgar Allan Poe and the Sleeping Hollow one. So, uh, Strange Happenings, you get um, information on like the Salem Witch Trials, uh, the Amazing Mr. Holmes, uh, the Curse of Chases, and, if, and uh, one other, uh, two, three other things, and then you get some poems. So you get the poems and then you get like an annotation of like um, certain wordings or phrases or like information. So then like you get uh, this tail. Broomstick Trainer Return of the Witches kind of thing, and then Shadow March. And then you do get a few different 
uh, poems in here. So if you are just um, some short ones, there are ones like earlier on that are longer. So in like the play section, I think it's like either abbreviated or very short type of plays. Um, activities, you get like classic pumpkin carving. Uh, Halloween mobile. Uh, 10 quick and easy Halloween costumes. Um, you get a few more costume ideas. So like uh, fortune telling activities, how to haunt a house, so like some decorations and some other ideas and so recipes, which is the kitchen, like that one. Uh, 10 fun food ideas for Halloween, homemade pumpkin feel filling. And so you do get some uh, recipes uh, of stuff that you could make. So, and then get like applesauce, a few drinks. Get a few, um, a few like dessert items. Wow, this is. So, author and title index, so you get the listing of like the poems or the stories and stuff. So, index to first lines of poetry, so yeah, like it's a interesting book filled with uh, um, different like stuff, like not that um, things I, I haven't seen in many other books. So you are getting introduced to a lot of different, not a lot, but uh, a few different types of poems, plays, different things that some other books may not introduce you to unless you like search it out for yourself individually. But for some of the poets, like some may not have like a Halloween specific book. It might be in another part of their collection, so they bring it into. So uh, Sue brought it into this one, so you get quite a bit of stuff in here. So like really interesting. So Halloween program, a source book. Happy readings.